and welcome to Free Jackson 5, a series of brief interviews where you get to know your favorite New England players. I'm Dallin Stanford, former US Eagle and current World Rugby commentator. And in this episode, we spend five minutes with New Zealander Joe Johnston, one of the international loose forwards who will be representing the Free Jacks in Major League Rugby 2021. How are things going that side, my friend, in the land of the long white cloud? Yeah, it's, it's going great at the moment. Summertime here, so I'm kind of just soaking up the sun. Plenty to do, so I'm keeping busy, keep swimming and hanging out. So, yeah, really enjoying my time at the moment. Well, listen, don't mention the sun because it was snowing here yeah. today in Boston. So you're lucky you got the sleeveless shirts on for the moment. Yeah, yeah. well, I've been um, kind of preparing for that and getting some warm weather gear as well. I'm kind of excited to see some snow anyway. No, it's good. We'll have some good outdoor adventures when you get here. Now, listen, as a commentator, we all love a good nickname. So why do the yeah. folks call you the mechanic? It was actually given to me by the Free Jacks when my name got announced into the team. I think it was just because Ryan Martin, being coached by before, he said something about being real clinical at the ruck or something and, um, you know, knowing the rules around the ruck and knowing what I can and can't do. So I think he gave me that nickname and it actually it kind of stuck here a little bit. Eh? And I got called that quite a bit throughout the Bay of Plenty career. Well, it's a, it's a good nickname and it's kind of like Richie McCaw, who was uh, never on sides, but never off sides either. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's get right into this because this is a really interesting one. You qualified to represent the United States. Can you explain to us how that happened? Yeah. So my mum was born in America. She grew up in Boston, Massachusetts, and she moved over to New Zealand when she met my dad. At, she got married and came over to New Zealand at 22. I kind of always had that in the back of my head, like mum being American. And, and yeah, having this passport was quite handy because no visa trouble or anything like that and I can just pop straight over and come straight back. Let's talk about your background growing up in New Zealand you know what activities you know firstly where in New Zealand did you grow up and what activities outside of rugby did you enjoy as a youngster? In the Bay of Plenty the east side of New Zealand um, in the middle of the on the top island in my last couple of years I went up to King's College in my last two years and spent some time playing around there. What makes them so successful and tell us a bit about your time there? It's always been quite a good rugby school and so it attracts kind of good rugby players and they hand out scholarships to entice and get people there and they got really good coaching and and a good culture there. Yeah, breed some wonderful players. And now listen, you got a chance to work with incoming Free Jacks head coach, Ryan Martin. Tell us how they came about and, and your relationship. He's coached me once before for the Barbarians team, an under-18s kind of New Zealand Barbarians team. I really enjoyed him, eh? We got on quite well and I was only with him for two weeks. We did more than just rugby as well. We went out and the, took the team out. We did like uh, activities and stuff like that. And yeah, got on real well with them and really excited to work with them again. Now listen, as part of your playing career, 2020 of course cut short for all of us, but you got a chance briefly to play in the Global Rapid Rugby competition. Uh, tell us a bit more about that experience. If it went ahead, it would have been a, a really cool, really cool competition. It was, um, it's, it was his first year this year and um it got cut short after our first game against Fiji, so we ended up going over to Fiji and playing there. Um, we were there for like a week before we played, and it was it was, it was honestly a really cool experience. And well, did you run into Pawasa, who is our our Free Jack flyer who lives in Fiji? Did he come along? Did yeah, he play? yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Before I, I think I realised that after um, after I played him, but I think we did play at the same time. Yeah, and, and, and I played against him, but I, I just didn't put two and two together before I was. Um, before I was playing. Well, it's good you guys will link up together soon, you know. What excites yeah. you, though, this is a big one, about coming here to America and, and starting this new adventure? There's a lot, to be honest. The one, like, when my mum grew up in America, she grew up in Boston. So I'm real excited to go back to, to Boston. I have friends and family there uh, that I'll meet who I haven't met in ages. And then, again, with the rugby, like, it's another professional competition. I'll be, I'm really looking forward to that and the culture, getting kind of immersed in the culture over there and, and just trying to be a part of it and do my part and help the Free Jacks, you know, win games. And and a final word from you for the Free Jacks fans before you get here? You know, I'm excited to come over and, and don't be don't be shy. Come up and say hi. The mechanic won't hurt you. Well, listen, thanks for joining us in Free Jacks in 5. That's Joe Johnston. You can catch him entertaining in the 2021 Major League Rugby season and make sure to keep updated with your New England side at freejacks.com. As we say here, let's ride. Let's ride.